This channel is supported by Truefire. Truefire is an online library of lessons from some of my favorite players. There's thousands of lessons on there. You can use the promo code JNC40 to get 40% off of any of their courses. So I got asked if I could try and dial in something similar to the Pro Reverb amp that you'd see me playing with that I borrowed off of Jake. So uh, I'm not going to do like an extensive A-B test because I can't be bothered right now. I just dialed it in based on uh, some audio that I've got in my DAW. So I wanted to share with you the settings for this and you can see if this gets you something enjoyable or not. The thing is when you hear me playing with that amp because of the headroom and stuff and you know it's very loud I think I'll be playing the real amp quite a lot lighter than I'd be tending to play the HX stomp so to get that feel you maybe want to try turning your thing up a bit louder so the the tendency with the HX stomp of course is if you pick really hard you, you get things kind of sounding a bit thin but I don't think you would pick as hard if you had the real amp in the room kind of blowing your head off now simple EQ I've got the low gain here at 2.6 and the high gain at 4.9 so this is just if I want a bit more uh, at the front end of the chain so think of it sort of like a bright switch kind of but also giving it a bit more heft that's on this switch here um, then I've got a scream 808 on this switch here gain at 4.2 tone at 7.5 level at 9.4 and then here's kind of the juice of the preset we're using the uh, vibrato channel of the twin the drive I've got at 3.9 you could try taking that back a little bit if you want it a bit cleaner or up a bit if you want it a bit less clean the bass I've pushed up to 7 so the settings that I had on the real amp were like 6 6 and volume at 3 4 so I've got the bass up at 7 the mids I have pushed a bit because I feel like the amp over there is a little bit less scooped than this was sounding and the treble is at about 6. I've turned the presence off because there isn't a presence control on the amp. And aside from that, 
we've got all settings as standard. Then I'm going into a 1x12 Cali EXT. The reason for this is that this has an EV speaker in it. I'm using the 4038 ribbon mic um, because that has more low end than most of the others. I've taken the distance to three inches because when I look over there at the mic, I'm a little distance away from the grill. Taken off the low cut and the high cut is at eight kilohertz as default. The reflections you could try putting up if you want. I'm doing a few other things in this patch though. Parametric EQ then, I'm pushing the mid frequency at 2.6 kilohertz by 2.7 to just bring out some more mids again. Um, the twin can be a little bit scoopy sounding, right? Uh, and I'm using a strap. So, then I've got here as an option the hot springs, but I'm not sure whether I love it or not. Um, so, so far it would sound something like this. So play with your dynamics essentially, but yeah, the hot springs, Fender amps have a really long kind of splashy reverb. I've got the dwell here at 10, the springs max at three, and the drip high, um, the mix at 18. Now experiment with this to taste. I don't know if you necessarily even need this in there though. So if you take it out, um, you still have. You know, if you put the mix up, part of what I think about when I hear a Fender Clean is that. It's having that in there. Uh, and then at the end, I've got the dynamic room. I'm going to show you one other thing that I would try with this. So I've got the decay at one second, pre-delay off, damping at eight kilohertz, diffusion off, motion rate off mix at 30% and everything else is standard. So without this, you'd get this. And with it. So once we put some of these things together with the 808, So, yeah, quite a lush kind of thing going on there. As I say, I'm not sure you need the hot springs necessarily. If you want more brightness. Then you've got that little bright switch at the start, but. That to me seems like a good place to tweak from. The other thing that I would try doing potentially, and this is based on something that I've done in the, the digital audio workstation, uh, Reaper, as it could otherwise be known, uh, try doing this. So what I'm doing is putting on a parallel path, a compressor going into the room sound. And then we can push this mix up a bit if we want to, or, or keep it lower, whatever you like. But this will give us a bit more volume. Quite a lot more volume as it happens.
So that's an option there, but as I say, I'm not sure whether you necessarily need that, but that I think is quite a cool starting point for getting this kind of thing going. So give that a try, let me know if you want me to drop that into the folder. I think that could do something for you. If you liked this blues weapon, I think this one is a better sounding preset. Give it a try, leave a comment, um, help the channel do something, it'll be put in the folder if enough of you request it, and I'll catch you in another video soon. Cheers for now.